Um, hello everyone, um, this is Mustafa from Lightbulb Technology and today on Simple Learning I would like to show you how to make a cool looking interlocking basket wave effect of your photos. You see this kind of effect only works perfectly on closely cropped portraits. So first of all you have to get your photo then the next thing you need to do is to crop your photo if it's not a closely cropped portrait you crop it yourself so you go to the crop tool then you select either is a one by one ratio square or anyone you want but it has to be a close closely cropped portrait so but for me I use a one by one ratio because is the kind of images I'd like to be posting online on my social media handles and you know if you're posting on social media it's best to use a square pixel images okay I think that's good enough then you make sure your delete cropped pixels is selected and you click this icon now let's zoom in a little this is our closely cropped portrait now so the next thing we need to do is we go to preferences and edit you click preferences then you select guides grid and slices so once that is done on grid on the grid um on the grid side you come to this color and you select a light color I've already done that you select a light color then you come to grid line every and you choose 217 pixels now for the subdivision you choose 6 and press OK so once that is done you go to view you make sure your snap is selected if it's not selected if this mark is not there you click on it so that it selects then if you want to view your grid you go to show and you click on grid and your grid will be sh will be shown here then the next thing we need to do here is we select our rectangular marquee tool and we duplicate our image twice by pressing ctrl j twice press ctrl j twice so that you duplicate your image then the last image you click on the thumbnail of the last image of the first image sorry you click on the thumbnail then you press alt delete to make it a dark background so then you go to the first layer that's the first layer at the top there and you use your rectangular marquee tool and select six rows you select six rows you select six rows one two three four five and six select it all the way down and once that is done you skip two rows one and two then you press shift and select another six rows one two three four five and six so you select another six rows and you skip another two rows that's what you do to the ending you skip another two rows I saw this brother pointing the finger. Eh. I 
say na brother tunde was come my mama eh timba no wo igbaju loyin a feel like you like see guy no be so once that is done you tap on the mask to you click on the mask to at the bottom of your layer panel here you click on it to create a layer mask on this top layer okay wait a minute yeah 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 that i made a mistake there then you do the same for the second one but for the second one instead of selecting the rows you select the columns so you go straight and start from the top layer and you select six columns and go all the way to the end and So the same thing you did, you skip two columns and you select, oh sorry, you skip two columns, you press shift and you select the second column. That's what you do to the ending. So I'm just going to fast forward this till I finish. Okay. I think that's done. The next thing we do is we mask the second layer with our column selection. I think that's that. Then we press Ctrl H to hide our grid. Ctrl H to hide our grid. Uh, then you select the horizontal rows the horizontal rows by pressing control and clicking on the thumbnail of the mask then you overlap the selection with the vertical rows by pressing control shift plus out and click on the thumbnail of the mask of the top layer so now you've selected the shapes of our mask so the next thing we do is go to select and we save selection once this comes out you just click on ok Press Q to make selection of a quick mask. We make this selection into a quick mask by pressing Q. Then we select our paint bucket tool. We select our paint bucket tool. And start selecting from the second box of our first row. Start selecting from the second box of our first row. And you do the same for the third row. Continue to the ending. Once that is done, go back to the top to the second column. And we start from the first box of the second column and we start selecting start filling so 
so we feel till our image looks like this um, now we'll press Q to revert back into selection press Q to revert back into selection then we press ctrl J to cut our selection out like this and we go to the top and make the top layer active by clicking the thumbnail of the top layer now we go to channels and select the last layer mask like this we go back to layers and press Q to create a quick mask like this but this time around we start from the first top the first top box this time around we start from the first top box you know the last time we did we started from the second top box right so this time around we start from the first top box and we select just the way we did the last time we select And at the same time, we go back to the top, that's the second column, and we start from the second box. Okay, once that is done, you press Q to revert back to selection, and you press Ctrl J to cut the selection out. Once you're through with that, you clip the cut selections on our main layers by pressing out and coming to the middle here and click do the same for the second one you click so once that is done we select um, the second clipped mask and we click on this FX here and select outer glow you can either click on this FX and select outer glow or you can go straight and right click here and click blending options and you go to outer glow you choose a black color you make your opacity 50% normally your blending mode might be screen so you change it to multiply i think that's all then you press ok then in order to duplicate this effect to the first clipped mask you just press alt on effect and click and drag and release that's all then once that is done you go to filter sorry you press ctrl shift out plus e to merge everything together then you go to filter let's zoom this in so that you'll see what we're doing see we've created the basket effect but what's left now is the texture right so we go to filter go to filter gallery once we're in filter gallery we click on texturize on that texture we click on texturize we click on texturize we make sure our texture is in burlap 
I was scaling 100% and I already live 1%. I think that's that. And you press OK. So now we have. Now we have our cool looking interlocking basket wave effect. And you can do that on all sorts of images that are closely cropped portraits sorry so thank you for watching this tutorial if you like it please subscribe More music at